Oh, what up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadowblade, back on this shit. But I so much wanted to, you know, talk to you guys about that. I feel you guys need to know. Um, if you guys can't tell, I've been sick as fuck all day, so I've been, you know, sleeping a lot. I mean, a lot. But, um, you know, what I'm going to talk to you guys about is something pretty important to me. And it has to do with why I'm sick of being called a DJ when I'm not really a DJ. Now, don't get twisted. I'm not calling anybody out, you know, in particular. This is like an in general thing. Because y'all know this isn't just one motherfucking person. It's a lot of people. But, um, you know, I'm sick of being called a motherfucking DJ when I'm not a fucking DJ. You know, like, I mean, yeah, I might be the brains behind, you know, all the beats that a lot of you know, my friends use and stuff like that. And yeah, that's true. I am the brains behind a lot of their beats. I am the fucking mad scientist behind that shit. But to be honest, I do write and, rec and record as well. Like, I'm not calling you out. If you are calling that, I'm not, you know, calling you out by name. I'm just saying that certain people need to learn that I'm not just a DJ. I am a music artist. I write and record just as much. Like, literally, I write and record on a fucking daily basis. I record shit, too. And shout out to Julian Solano from that core. I was just talking about you in the last live stream, man. What's good, buddy? But, you know, like, I do write and record songs quite a bit, actually. Like, not all of them get released, but, you know, I do write and record my own stuff. And, like, yeah, whenever I'm talking to somebody and or, or like, working with anybody, they refer to me as their DJ. When, dude, I am a music artist, too. I write and record my own songs. I, you know, mix and master them. If you guys are wondering, yes, I did get my hands on the brand new FL Studios Mobile. I absolutely love it. Fucking amazing, awesome program. So, shout out to Image Line for releasing that. I absolutely love that shit. Hell yeah, if you ain't there, dude. But if you guys don't know, man, Julian Solano is the guy that I was telling you guys about in the last live stream who, you know, made that one track very possible. So thank you, Julian. I, I greatly appreciate that, buddy. Like, you have no idea. Like, words cannot express, you know, how grateful I am for that. You know, for you doing that. But, um, you know, I mean, honestly, the reason why I said what I said in my last live stream, or actually, rather, my last two live streams, 
you know, it wasn't just, you know, with everything going down. But it's also, you know, the fact that I really am losing my drive. And what I mean by that is, like, you know, every time I go to record, I'm always talking about the same thing over and over and over. It's like I'm stuck on this infinite loop, and I just can't switch it off. And I've recorded that shit multiple, multiple, multiple times. And like, you know, I just don't know how to word out or even write down the stuff that I really do want to talk about. And it's like, it, it drives me nuts. And I just end up recording the same shit every fucking time. Oh, no shit, dude. How did it go over? Yo, you guys are seeing this shit right now, right? Tell me y'all are seeing this. I know some of you guys might not be able to... I might not be able to see that watching, but I know a lot of you guys are. And believe it or not, Julian, I actually am chill. Dude, I've been chill all day. I really have been. This is just like something. I'm just basically speaking about an earlier issue that I had gone live about. And so don't worry, man. You're good. But you know, like. You know, back to what I was telling you. You you guys that were there during the live stream earlier. Or the last two live streams earlier today is it <laughs> right right but you know what a lot of you don't realize is that you know like I really am losing that drive, that edge to write and record new stuff. And you guys are probably wondering, like, what inspired me to write that new song that I put out right after I said that I was, you know, considering retiring. Well, believe it or not, I was actually sitting down watching um, Hobson's um, In the Basement documentaries about, like when he's in his basement where he records everything, I was just like, you know what? I need to just fire up and just record something. And that's when I came out with Mainstream Robot, which it was a fun track to record, not going to lie. I actually had fun there because I was a lot. Excuse me. Like, in that song, you know, I did take a shot at the mainstream record labels that are always talking shit. Like, I straight out took a motherfucking, you know, straight up right hook to those guys. You know, like, I literally, I called them out, like, you know, because of what they're doing to me and other people and how unfair it is. You know, I kind of felt like that shot was, they kind of deserved it. Hey, Brandy, what's good? It's been a long time since I've seen you in the live streams. What is good, kiddo? But um, if you guys do want a link to the song, I actually have it posted on BandLab. Um, so if you guys want a link to the song called Mainstream Robot, you know, message me. Or if you guys want, I can post it in the chat. No, I did release another one. It was more or less a random ass freestyle. It wasn't actually my best shit, but it was pretty good. Not gonna lie, I mean, I enjoyed doing it, even though it was like a rub, on a repetitive cycle type of deal. Believe it or not, dude, she's not new. It's just been a long, long time since. You know, she's actually been on these. So, you know, it is what it is.
But what I'll do right now for you guys is I will actually post the link to Mainstream Robot. You know, in the comments, that way you guys can take a listen to it. And, you know, and tell me what you guys think. Because, you know, Mainstream Robot, I did have a lot of fun with because, you know, I did actually get to call out the Mainstream, you know, record companies. And, you know, how they're really, you know, bashing on myself as well as being unfair to other artists who really deserve a shot. And so there y'all go. Oops. All right. So there y'all go. It's in the comments. Be sure to go check out Mainstream Robot Live on Band Lab right now. The link's in the comments. Go check that shit out. For right now, guys, I need, I needed to get that off my chest. And, you know, just let you guys know that I am not. If someone told you I'm a DJ... Look at them and say, fuck you, because I am not a DJ. I am a music artist. I write and record just like any other artist. And, you know, and I'm, I'm basically like, I'm not trying to compare, you know, lyrics or anything like to any other artist. But what I do is like, I'm basically like the white version of Hobson. All right. <clears throat> you know, like I write my own music, I record my own music, and I make my own beats. So if y'all don't know, Hobson, he literally makes his own shit. All his beats, all his music, that's all done by him. He actually uses the same program that a lot of us use nowadays, which is FL Studios. So, you know, shout out to Hobson, love your music, man. Much love, dude. But, um, with that being said, y'all, I gotta hop off here, man. I gotta eat. I gotta finish up. Plus, I have a Street Fighter tournament for Android to get ready for, y'all. I don't know why or how, but I guess somebody liked my skills in fighting gaming and I got invited to do a Street Fighter tournament for Android, so I'm gonna hurry up, finish eating, hop on there, see what the buzz is about. And I'll see you guys later.